This is Dalton Jeffries from the Giants, and you're listening to Gym on Base. Welcome back to another episode of the Gym on Base Show. We're here in Scottsdale at Giants Spring Training with uh, the great Dalton Jeffries. And Dalton, thanks for coming on. You're a California guy. Yeah, California guy, born and raised in Central Valley. I went to Cal, and now we're here. Yeah, and you uh, are from Merced, right? And went to high school in Atwater? Yeah, from Merced. Pretty much grew up in Atwater. Always played around the Central Valley growing up in child ball tournaments and everything, but it's nice to stay local. And it's got to be cool too. I was looking at Merced, like the notable people, and like Brian Fuentes. I don't know if you remember him from like the Rockies, yeah, yeah. and a lot of a lot of players. Uh, Ray Allen's from yeah. there, so it's kind of surprising. Ray Allen's from there? Yeah, it surprised me too. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, Doug Fister, Thomas Eager, Dylan Floro, uh, my brother Jake Jeffries. There's been a, a lot of good talent come out of that area. Do you see those guys around? Because growing up, I'd see Vita Blue at the gym. I always thought that was cool. So I was wondering if you had, did stuff like that. Uh, no, I, I haven't seen them around too much. Uh, I, I live in I live in Arizona during the off season, and sometimes in Walnut Creek. Um, but no, it's it's I live like ten minutes away from my brother now, so that's that's big time. Yeah, I'm in Danville, so not far from the creek. But I noticed something about yesterday. You were sitting there with a the baseball. Look, you were like drawing stuff on it. Is that something you do or? Uh, I picked that up in rehab just because I needed something to do, and I always enjoyed coloring. It helps with like, I don't, I don't know if it does, I mean, it helps me with uh, like uh, anxiety and stuff. So whenever I get a little anxious or whatever and I just have some quiet time, I just color. And I picked it back up in 2020. I did like adult coloring books, which is fun. Uh, but no, it's just something to do to keep my mind going. Have you done any cool designs? Like do you keep the balls when you're done with them? or? Uh, yeah, I keep them. Uh, I would like to be able to, uh, you know, give them out to kids at, at games or something to make them happy. That's like the ultimate autograph right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. Growing up, who were your favorite teams? And do you have like a jersey that you wore as a kid that you think back on? Or uh, I, I grew up a Giants fan watching Barry Bonds. I always had a Bonds jersey. I watched, you know, JT Snow, Rich Really, all those dudes. And then once I got to college, I transferred to more. Still a Giants fan, but I would go to A's games because they were a little cheaper. Yeah. Uh, and I watched Sonny Gray pitch a lot. I, I remember I used to go there a little bit early and watch his bullpens and, uh, I don't know, just take notes on what he was doing. But, yeah, it was, it was definitely convenient to be right there. That's got to be pretty surreal then to like go to the games early and then just a few years later you're playing for the A's, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of great full circle moments. I've been pretty fortunate to have a lot of those, especially with playing with Pablo Sandoval now. Like It's, it's crazy. And I got to play with uh, Sergio Romo in, in Oakland, so it's – I've been pretty blessed and very fortunate to have a lot of those full circle moments. Do you play it cool or do you, do you like asking like fan questions or? No, I, I play it so cool. Yeah, I just say, oh, good morning, Pablo. That's, that's kind of that's it. <laughs> do you have a favorite uh, like sports movie that you like to watch when it's on TV? Oh, man. It's, uh, I mean, it's definitely one with Kevin Costner in it. It's, um, oh, For the Love of the Game. Um, that's a really good one. I like when he says clear the mechanism and all the fans go away. I think that's pretty sweet. Is that how you do it, or? Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of breathing stuff and focal point and visualization, but I don't say it out loud. No. <laughs> Have you ever thought to yourself, like a fun teammate, like we should do a podcast? Like, what would you want to talk about? Who'd be a good teammate? Do you think? Spencer Howard, 100. percent I just met him three weeks ago, but man, he's he's hilarious. He's very interesting. But yeah, he'd be an awesome guy. And you said he's a Valley guy too, right? Yeah, he's a Valley guy. I think I, I could be wrong. I, he went to Cal Poly, I know for sure. Um, yeah, so he's from that area. Well, when you think about your call-up story or your major league debut moment, uh, which one kind of stands out to you, and what's the story behind it when you think back on it? Uh, my my call-up story was was pretty cool. We it was the during the COVID year, so not no fans or family could come, so that was kind of unfortunate. But I remember Bo Mel called me into his office and said, "Hey, we need a we need a pitcher for tomorrow. Do you know anyone?" And I said, "Yeah, I, I know someone." Uh, but I think the most memorable moment was. Uh, my first win, which is in uh, Los Angeles against the Angels, and my whole family came down, and I pitched for free that day because I gave out so many tickets. But no, it was, that was kind of the most memorable moment for sure. Well, do you keep anything uh, from those first games or from your career? Yeah, I have a, I have the jersey from from that. I have a bunch of baseballs that I, when when you get your first win or whatever, they'll give you a pack of baseballs from that game, and they'll authenticate it. And so I gave them out to you know my my pitch coach from college and my college coach from college and kind of people that influenced me along the way. So do you uh, collect any autographs? Because you give them out probably. So do you collect any? Or I know guys get into it. Yeah, I think I think these next couple of years I'll try to get some jerseys signed by guys, especially guys that I've grew up playing with in the minors and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean An Andrew Vaughn. I would love to get an Andrew Vaughn one just because Cal. You know, all, all the Cal alum I would love to get. Um, Simeon, of course, um, 
but yeah, I try to try to get it. Well, who are you like away from the game? Obviously, baseball takes a lot of your time. What do you like to do to relax? Uh, well, I like to I like to color. Um, I like to go to a bunch of different restaurants, try new food. Did some did some ride-alongs at the fire department, which is awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to get involved in my community as much as possible. We have a foundation. My uh, my girlfriend's family has one called Scotty's Gift. We give uh, customized gift baskets to newly diagnosed pediatric cancer patients. Work directly with UCSF Benioff in Oakland, but looking to go into San Francisco and hopefully me being with the Giants can kind of help propel that. But yeah, just try to be involved in my community as much as possible. I'll put a link for that foundation in the bio, and I'm, yeah, I'm thinking you could probably link up with Buster Posey on the pediatric cancer. Yeah. Oh man, that'd be that'd be a dream. That'd be awesome. I would love that. Well, Don, thanks for coming on the show. It's yeah. fun to get to know you, and uh, looking forward to rooting you on the rest of the year. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me.